is Ryan Lutz here. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to properly break in your Alpha Plus engine. So uh, first step we're going to do today is to make sure your glow plug works properly. So attach it to your igniter, make sure the coils glow red. This one looks good. So now we're going to install the glow plug into the engine. So tilt your car and then install the glow plug. Slug it up tight. And next step, we're going to place it onto the starter box. And uh, make sure that the flywheel rocks back and forth so that the piston's at bottom dead center. Install on the starter box. And next, we're going to fuel the fuel tank. Fill it full of fuel. And then we're going to prime the tank to get fuel up to the engine. So what you want to do is you want to pinch the pressure line and flick the fuel tank lid one, two, three times, whatever it takes to get fuel up to the main speed noodle. So watch it as it goes in. So make sure your box is lined up. Install the igniter. And now the new engine is very tight, and so this one got stuck. So you're going to want to take a flat blade screwdriver and turn the flywheel counterclockwise to unstick it. And this is very common with a new engine. So then you're ready to try again. It's primed it and we're ready to fire it up. Noticing as I pull about a quarter throttle, it's really choking on a lot of fuel. Generally, that means that the top end is extremely rich. So I'll bring it in, I'll temp it, see where we're at. We're only at 140 degrees. The top end a lot of times dictates your temperature. So I'm going to want to clean the top end. and bring it on in and temp it again. As I do my quarter to half pull, I can hear it leaning out a little bit better this time. Bring it in and temp it again. Now we're looking for between 195 and 230 degrees. 
the 170, so we still have room to lean it out on top. I'll leave the top about three hours this time. kind of turn it really slowly and listen to it as you turn it as it gives instant feedback. You can see as I pull a quarter and a half throttle it's still blowing smoke the entire time which means it's got enough oil and everything going through it. This time and check the temperature, see if we're in our range yet. getting closer, you know you're only going to turn it one to two hours at a time. There's no need for big turns on, on the needle. Passes. Here it's starting to come alive a little bit as I get up to about a half throttle. Bring it in again, temp it. tank just nice smooth passes. Once you get low on this tank, you're going to turn it off with your foot on the flywheel. And you're going to let it cool down to ambient temperature. You're going to do another tank the same exact way. Once you leave the second tank, cool down the ambient temperature, and then you can do like two tanks at a time. Turn it off, let it cool down. This is called the heat cycle method. Let's all the piston and sleeve and everything seat really good in the engine for a longer longevity. Do one more pass and bring it in. See, make sure I'm still in our temperature range that we're looking for. more as it breaks in. You can continue to richen it a little bit here and there. Lower the idle. As it breaks in and richens up the engine itself and cools off. You know, you can lean the top another hour or two at a time and get the, back into that temperature range that you're looking for. And then you're going to want to do this process of heat cycling, doing one or two tanks at a time for about 10 tanks. After you complete 10 tanks, you can feel the engine. You're going to turn the flywheel over. And see if you can still feel the metal pink at the top. If it's still mechanical when you turn it, you're going to want to do more tanks of braking. So it's, it's a process, it takes a while, but if you take the time and you do it right, the engine will, will reward you with a really long life. So right now, I'm getting low on my first tank, I'm going to turn it off by the flywheel. Turn it off and make sure it's at bottom dead center. Always got to be there when you turn it off. It keeps the piston from being stuck at the top and expanding the top of the sleeve, which you don't want. So you make sure that's there. Turn it off. Let it turn. Let it cool down to ambient temperature again, and then you're ready for the next step.
how to know if your engine is ready to have a race tune put on it. First thing you want to do after you've done your 10, step, 10 tanks of braking on a rich setting is take the engine out of your car, remove the glow plug, and then let it cool down completely. And then you're going to take a torque wrench and set it at between 2.8 and 3.0 kilograms per centimeter. Next, take a torque wrench insert it into the end of the crankshaft and the screw and turn it slowly now this one turned over that means it's less than the 2.8 to 3.0 kilograms per centimeter thus this engine is broken in and ready for a race tune now say you take your engine you do the same process and the torque wrench goes off that means the engine is still too tight you need to go back and do another three tanks of break-in and then repeat this process until it turns over with no issue. And that is how you know if your engine is ready for a race tune.
I'm going to probably try to squeeze a little bit more out of it. In closing, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it not only informative, but also enjoying to watch. Uh, if you have any questions further, you can reach Alpha Plus at their website. And I hope that you've learned that you know taking your time with the break-in is very important, doing it correctly. If you do so, it'll reward you with a long life for your engine. Also, I hope you've seen in the video that Alpha Plus makes great power, and it's great not only for a pro driver, to race against the best in the world, but it's also great for a club racer, regional racer, anybody. It's just a great engine. They give awesome power, excellent run times, and they're a joy to race and play and have fun with. So if you have any more questions, you know where to reach us, and thank you so much for watching.